Alright guys, so today we're here on Settler Creeks for an all handgun hunt. This was just uh, suggested in the comments recently and I love the idea. So I think I have a variant of at least every handgun in the game. I don't have like all the different variations and stuff. Uh, but I've got the 308, the 44, 357, 454, 45, and 22. So I think that's at least a variant of all of them uh, from what I could tell anyway, unless I missed one. Uh, but yeah, we're here on Settler Creeks because I thought if we're going to do something this different... Uh, let's change up the map as well. We, like, never hunt here anymore. Uh, but yeah, I want to get at least two kills with all the different handguns that I have. And that'll put us around 12, because I have six. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, we've got a white-tailed buck coming in. 85 to 110 score estimate. I've only taken one shot with this 308, uh, and it was like a body shot, and I wasn't able to find the animal. So hopefully this goes better. Yep, he's down. Pretty cool gun, actually. I don't know how I never ended up getting it. But anyway, we'll grab our white tail buck. I heard a uh, gobbler just about a render, so he might not have spooked from that. We'll head down that way and see if we can find him. And, of course, anything else that's over there. Also, it's, like, very windy outside, so if you can hear that, sorry about that. But, uh, can't really help that. <laughs> All right, we've got a pretty solid uh, Roosevelt Elk right here. There's another smaller one uh, getting way too close. So I've got the 454. I'm, oh, that other one's stuck, that's why. And I have no shot. I don't know how he hasn't spooked yet. He definitely knows we're here. Okay, he's walking again. I called from back there, so I don't know. If we get away with this, that's going to be very, very lucky. He still doesn't have us spotted. I wonder if that other one got off the trees yet. a bear. <laughs> I see every other elk, but I haven't seen the one, uh, I think it was like 255 to 345. I don't know where he went. Unless, of course, he is still stuck there. Oh, I just... Yeah, he's still stuck. Okay, we're gonna have to crawl up towards him. It'd be alright, too, if they kind of lose interest in the call, but then they're gonna start coming back towards me. Uh, but the bigger one would, like, get unstuck. But if he gets unstuck now, we're going to have to, like, stand up and shoot instantly, because otherwise he'll probably see us. Okay, they're all still... Oh, okay, there he is. Alright. I did not think we were going to be getting him. Uh... A little bit ago when he was stuck there and there were all those other elk. I want to see. Is that a very big bear? It is. 18 to 22. Well, we'll go after him next. Or at least try to. I was going to go up like in this building, uh, but there was no real good area uh, in the direction they were coming from. So I ended up having to like crawl out. And, of course, this guy got stuck. He's got pretty solid tines. I see a few deductions, but let's see what he scores. 320, not bad. All right, I think that looks pretty good. A solid elk, and we've got an idea of where a pretty good bear is, so we'll see if we can go get that now. All right, it sounds like the bear's right up here. There he is. Okay, is that the one? Yep, that's the one. So I'm not sure if I like the fact that the bears, like, make the uh, roars that you can't ID. I don't really think that's something they do realistically, just walking around and randomly uh, roaring. They're relatively quiet, but I do understand it from a game standpoint. Like, you can't call them in and they, uh, they don't come to the barrels like they used to, because those are, like, working properly now. Uh, and they don't attract, like, a ton of bears. So I can understand it, and actually it is quite helpful for being able to find them. 
Man, that sounds really cool when you get closer. I've only heard it from, like, far away. Alright, I think we're in range to take this guy out. Got two in him. I think we hit that second shot. Alright. See what we got for blood. Hopefully lungs. I'm not seeing any super bright blood here. No, that's body. And this is probably going to be body as well. That was a bit of a far shot, so I'm not going to knock the 45 for that. Because I don't really know what it's capable of. We may need to uh, get it again, I don't know. Actually, there's uh, some water down here. We might have an opportunity for another shot, depending on what's going to happen. Uh, he might end up having to turn around or something. So we're going to go ahead and like keep running at him. Although I don't even have another track. Alright, here we go. We'll get... Here. There he is. That's not even the right gun. It's the 22. Okay, I'm glad I at least saw him again, so I know where he's going to go. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to need to put up uh, a third shot or not. Uh, so we'll follow him kind of aggressively at first to see what's going to happen, and then uh, if he's not going down, uh, then we'll just kind of slow down, let him calm down, and we'll try to get closer. Alright, our bear's down. I'm actually kind of surprised he went down that quickly. It must have been the follow-up shot. Uh, they got him there. Unfortunately, he's kind of in some brush. I think we can kind of drag him out if he's big enough for a, a trophy shot. That might have just been a bad shot, actually. I was trying to be a little further back uh, with that first shot. But let's see what he scores. Solid weight. 20.9. I think that's worth a trophy shot. Oh, that first shot was only uh, 46 meters, though. That might have been just where I placed the shot. But honestly, at 46 meters, if that was placed correctly for a vital hit, it should have been one, I think. But anyway, we'll go ahead and take a trophy shot. Alright, I think that's about as good as we're going to get. I kind of had to drag him out into the sun, and I didn't have a very good position uh, for the camera. I couldn't get it as far as I wanted it to, so we'll take it. Oh, I think I was holding the wrong... Oh, well. I think I was holding the 44 in the picture, but... Anyway, I think that's... Three kills now. We have one with the 45, one with the 454, and one with the 308. So we will continue on uh, and see if we can find some more nice trophies. All right, we've got a white-tailed doe coming in that I'm going to take with the 357. Uh, it is my like most concern uh, that I have for one of the guns because it's like not all that uh, strong, and I think white tails are the only species on the map I can actually shoot with it. Uh, so I definitely want to take like a doe or something that's going to be uh, something I can let get nice and close. I don't want the shoulder blade to catch this. Okay, that's better. Down she goes. Ah, she got closer than I realized. Alright. Heart shot, that's exactly what I was looking for. 4.6 meters. Alright. So let's keep moving. Alright, I've been sitting here trying to call in a white-tailed doe, uh, but there's a random female black bear here that I think I spooked uh, when I shot uh, last. So I've got the 44. Don't have a scope on it currently. Uh, but if she keeps walking at us, we might be able to get her to charge us. Uh, and then she could just stand up and we can get like a clear shot at the vitals. That was kind of scary. Thought we were getting charged. Gosh. It's so intimidating. We're just going to keep working our way over here. Till we're straight in front of her. And then we're just going to kind of sit up and wait for her to notice us. Alright, she's definitely coming about where we need her to. All right, let's see if she's going to charge us. <laughs> I feel like I have to be quiet. I don't know why. 
Come on, notice us. We're right here. Come on. Now she's gonna see us. Really? Hi. Attack me. There we go. She shall stand up for us. Jeez. <laughs> Did we catch the vitals on either of those first shots? Intestines. Guess we were a little low. Well, I'm actually glad we didn't have the scope. That was that worked out quite nice. So we had stomach, intestine, body, and right lung. I'll take it. All right, we've got a gobbler out here. I'm trying to get a score estimate. It doesn't look like he's all that big. 20 to 50. I did just spook him though, so we're gonna go for a long shot with a 22. Let's see what we're looking at on the range here. About 115. Okay. To be honest, I don't really know where to aim, so I'm just gonna guess. All right there. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> Right in the center of like the chest, that was perfect. So, if I can manage to make myself remember this, the like second uh, cross is maybe like 140. So that's good to know. 130, 140. So that's at least or exactly, I think, one kill with every uh, pistol that we have. So that would be six down, six to go. And I think, do we have every species on the map? We don't have a feral hog yet. Uh, but other than that, we have killed one of every species on the map as well. So maybe we can accomplish that as well. So, let's see. Here's our turkey. 115.3 meters, just a 29 score. Very small, but it's a good way to learn... Uh, where to aim uh, with the 22 or uh, further ranges. But anyway, let's keep going and get our next six. All right, we got another white-tailed doe here for our 357. As I said before, I definitely prefer to get the does with the 357 because I can let them get good and close, and I can line up my shot to try to get like heart, so I don't have to worry about tracking like a body hit deer. All right, that should be good. Down she goes, and that is the 357 done. So reload it, why not? Yeah, that made sense. <laughs> Heart shot again. Very nice. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, we've got another white tail buck coming in. He's got a bunch of stickers all over, especially his left antler. We'll go 308 for this guy. And down he goes. Hmm. We had something else coming in. I heard like fleeing. All right. This guy's probably not going to score that great because of all the stickers. He wasn't going to in the first place, but 114. And we'll keep moving. All right, we've got another white tail buck coming in. Unfortunately, he's pretty small like the others have been. There's been no... A really solid white tail box, but we did get the nice elk and the uh, pretty good bear as well, so I'm not going to complain. We've got the 44 for this guy. Down he goes, so that is three weapons done, three to go. And here we go, reloading a weapon I'm not going to use again. So the only like difficult part is going to be the 22 because I have to specifically find a turkey. Uh, but what do we have left? The. Uh, 45 and uh, 454 and then the 22 of course all right all right we've got a couple of cow elk coming in i'm going to use the 454 because i want to use the uh 45 on something cooler if i can just go for this front one the 454 is an absolute cannon like if you don't have it and you want like a sidearm for like grizzly bear or any kind of bear, pigs, whatever, it is like one of the best. And also, 
Uh, I wasn't even like paying attention, and I got charged by a feral hog, and like injured or whatever, and it didn't even make any sound. That was a bug before, and I assumed that's what was happening, unless I had one headphone in because I was listening to something else, uh, and maybe it came from that side because I never even saw it. Uh, but yeah, it's a little hard to defend yourself when you don't even know they're there. Anyway, two uh, kills to go. Hopefully we can get like a decent bull elk or maybe a decent uh, male feral hog because we still haven't had one. And then we need a turkey as well. I just realized like I totally forgot there's cottontail rabbit on this map. So there's a potential to get one of those with a 22 as well. Uh, but I'm not going to like specifically track one even though I have the tracks here. But if we see one, maybe we can get that and a feral hog to get all the species on the map. I just completely forgot they were even here. Alright, so I actually have my eyes on a cottontail rabbit. Uh, it's like hiding, so we can just kind of run to her a little closer. Actually, I don't have a scope on the 22, so I'll have to go open sights, I guess. Uh, but I just found some tracks from like a group of heavy uh, Roosevelt elk bulls. So we might go for them instead of focusing on getting a feral hog. Should have been hit. I should have gone for like a uh, like a double tap or whatever. Just shoot twice real fast, and then it's like a guaranteed kill. I think it died. I just don't. Yeah, there it is. 1.2 kilogram male. Pretty small. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and track those uh, elk bulls. If we come across a male feral hog in the process, uh, we'll go for that. Otherwise, I think we'll be ending with hopefully a decent bull elk. There's a lot of good weights here, so we'll see. Alright, we've got some feral hogs coming in. Unfortunately, all female. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and take this one out with the 45 Colt. If I put the right scope on it, that'd be nice. Uh, my game has been, like, really laggy. And I think it's from Bandy Camp. I don't know what's causing it. Uh, we'll actually take the one we can see. There's another female to the right, unfortunately. Okay, we missed the second shot. I thought the first one should have been Brain, uh, but evidently not. But yeah, we'll go find her. I wanted to uh, continue uh, to look for those bull elk, but like if I record for more than like five minutes, it starts to get very laggy. Uh, so we do have a body shot. I guess we'll have to track her. Uh, but we, we should find her. All right, we've got a bull elk coming in. He's not all that big, uh, but at least he's better than the female feral hog. Uh, that I have not found yet, but when he bugled, I thought it'd be best to just give the uh, hog some time to expire anyway, uh, rather than push her. Okay, he's getting close. Down he goes. So what I think we'll do is go ahead and uh, end the video here, and I'll go find the feral hog afterwards, because uh, this guy's going to look a little better in a trophy shot than a female feral hog. Five meter shot. 195 score, but we'll take it. All right, so I think this is pretty good. There's not much sunlight here, and I'm not concerned about getting a perfect trophy shot. Uh, obviously, he's not all that big. But yeah, I really enjoy doing this hunt, uh, getting to use all the different handguns and stuff, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I think we got some pretty decent kills. We had the like 320 elk and the uh, almost 21 black bear, so not a bad hunt overall. Uh, but anyway, with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you like if you did? See you in the next one.